How to generate Google OAuth to access token and refresh token. Part 3. Command line tool of Google OAuth to utilities. So we already generated client ID and client secret in the part 1 of the lesson. In the part 2, we'll learn to generate access token and refresh token with the UI tool of the Gmail OAuth to utilities. In the part 3, we'll learn to use the command line counterpart, which is this program. In order to use it, we need the command line prompt of Windows or a terminal in Mac or Linux. As usual, change the working directory. List files. I expect you found this file which is a program we use to generate access token and refresh token. So start with the command name. The command syntax is very similar to what we're going to learn in part 4. The Python script oauth2.py because I've made the Gmail oauth2 utilities based on that. Back to the command line. If you hit enter, right after the command name, a help message or the usage of the command will be output. Let's imagine it's the first time you're dealing with Google OAuth2 authentication and you don't have access token or refresh token whatsoever. If this is the case, type with me. Lowercase OAuth2 space. We need to specify the client ID, so type dash dash client underscore id equals sign let's copy the client id from our notepad copy the client id back to the command line paste it just a reminder, make sure you're not including additional characters or line breaks. Let's specify next parameter, client secret. Actually, the order of the parameters doesn't really matter. It means we can let another parameter cut in. Let's say this one. It's also one of the mandatory options. Let's type space dash dash generate underscore OAuth2 underscore token. Oops, I've hit the enter button by mistake. So I get an error message that says missing option. Let's press up key and get the previous command. Type space dash dash client underscore secret. Equal. Go to the notepad and copy the client secret. Back to the command line. Paste it. Hit the enter button. Now we are requested to enter the verification code, which you can obtain from this site. Let's select, copy the URL, open the new browser tab, and visit the URL. We have to sign in. Continue. Grant these permissions. Continue. All right. Copy this verification code. Back to the command line. Paste it. Enter. Now we have the refresh token and the access token you use for authentication. The access token does expire. So next up, let's learn to generate a new one with this refresh token. Copy it to your clipboard. So let's type OAuth2 space dash dash refresh underscore token equal paste the refresh token space dash dash client underscore id equal let's copy and paste the client id from our notepad
at type space dash dash client underscore secret equal go to the notepad and copy the client secret back to the command line paste it and hit the enter button now we have a new access token why don't experiment with it all right Please note that the old access token is still valid as long as it has not expired. Let's copy it into our clipboard and test the IMAP authentication. Since we are typing commands, we need to make sure the command and the options are spelled correctly. So let's list out the help message. Oops. Alright. We will experiment with this option and this option. Type with me OAuth2 space dash dash test underscore IMAP underscore authentication space dash dash user. Please spell it correctly. It's referring to this option. Equal sign. Type your complete Gmail address. Space dash dash access underscore token equal sign paid the access token I've just copied. Hit the old one, but it hasn't expired. Hit the enter button. The command is responding, it's a good sign. If you see this authenticated, parenthesis success, it means the access token is working. Finally, let's also test our SMTP authentication in a similar way. Let's type OAuth2 space dash dash test underscore SMTP underscore authentication. Please spell it correctly. Space dash dash user equal Gmail address. Space dash dash access underscore token equal paste the access token hit the under button here come some responses all right when you see this accepted you can rest assured that your access token is actually working okay that's all for the part three of the lesson in the part four we will learn to use another command line tool that's written in python that's gonna be a lot of fun I'll see you there. Peace.